Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Nick DiMartino and today on Die Trying, I'm gonna be refinishing this garden cart and adding a bench seat for my kids to ride on. I found this old garden cart lying on the side of the road with a free sign on it and thought it had a lot of potential. So I brought it home and the first step to refinishing it is taking the whole thing apart. I gave the handle and the wheels a light sand and then spray painted those black. When you're spray painting, do several light coats instead of trying to do it all at once or it'll drip all over the place and look terrible. Right here I'm just testing out the orange spray paint to see if it's the color I really wanted and I was happy with it so I decided to move forward. Here's a quick trick for matching the corner of an angle to your wood. Place your two boards into the corner that you're trying to replicate. Scribe a line on your inside board by tracing the top of the outside board. Then switch the boards around and do the same. What you're actually doing is creating a parallel line to your corner. When you cut your boards on those lines, they should fit perfectly into the corner. Right here, I'm tracing the top of my bucket to the side of my piece of wood. Then, using a half inch piece of wood, I create a parallel line to that. My bench top is half an inch thick and I'd like it to sit flush with the top of the bucket. This will give me the line I need to cut to make that happen. This is when I figured out that I wanted one of the boards to stand straight up at a 90 degree angle from the bottom of the bucket. I gave the board a little trim and cut the top for the bench seat. Here I'm just tracing and cutting out the boards I'll be attaching the bench seat to and screwing them onto my base. I cut these boards out to go in between my two side pieces for stability. When cleaning this bucket, I tried my wire wheel, but it seemed like 80 grit sandpaper on my sander worked much better. It's time to start cutting the slats for my bench seat, and I'm using old 2x4s that I had laying around. To avoid sticking my hand directly into the table saw blade while making such a narrow cut, I cut the board halfway through, then removed it from the blade and flipped it over head to toe and cut the other half. I'm using this small piece of wood to create a gap between my board and my fence while making these repetitive cuts. If you do a cross cut on your table saw using the fence, you run the risk of pinching your piece of wood between the table saw blade and the table saw fence, creating kickback and the piece could fly up and hit you in the face. So I cut a ton of slats, then I ran them all through my router table to create a round over on all the edges. Here I'm just trying to figure out the angle for the backrest and I know I have a really bad shot of this so I'll do a real technical drawing to show you which angle I'm tracing. Then it was just time to paint the base and stain the slats. Now I'm just gluing and nailing these slats together to create a little trunk. I figured the kids would think that was fun. Time to start nailing the slats on and see what this bench is going to look like. Here I'm just measuring to find the center and put a little handle on the trunk. I wanted to make some sidewalls for the cart, so I cut some 2x4s to size, and I had some railings from an old swing set that I decided I would paint black and attach to those 2x4s. Alright, back to sanding the bucket and starting to spray paint. Now I'm just drilling some holes through the wood and directly through the sides of the bucket so I can slide a bolt through and attach it. The 
bench was done and most of the paint was done so it was time to start reassembling this garden cart. So right here I'm trying to force this bench seat down into this bucket and it clearly didn't fit but I just kept on trying to force it and eventually I broke the trunk. So I had to remove the trunk and go recut it to fit which was not a huge deal. Right here I'm drilling some holes through the garden cart and through the base of the bench to slide some bolts in and hold it in place. And here's where I ran into my second problem. There's this old saying, slow is smooth and smooth is fast, but man, I am just not that guy. I tried to rush through this and left the bench seat in while I was painting and got paint all over it. Had to take it out and sand it and restain it. I guess the plus side of rushing through it was I accidentally got black paint all over the top rail of the garden cart and realized that would look really good. So I taped it off and painted it all black. After that, all that was left to do was add a Honk If You're Haunted bumper sticker by Discount Cemetery and Die Trying on the opposite side. I love the way this garden cart came out. It's perfect for driving the kids around the yard, which they love. And I can remove the bench with two simple bolts and use it for landscaping still, which is great. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe or check out one of these videos. Thanks. Bye, see you again and have a good dream.